students we will see the problems based on half range uh, Fourier series the first problem is express f of x is equal to x as a half range sine series in x greater than 0 less than 2 solution so the given function I will collect it that is f of x is equal to x and the range x greater than 0 less than 2 means I can say that it is the interval 0 comma 2 so 2 belongs to L here so value of L is 2 so therefore so what they have asked we need to find half range sine series so here we need to first uh, write the half range series the the half range sine series in 0 comma L because L value is 2 here so the value of L is 2 so therefore I will write 0 comma L is given by f of x is equal to summation n from 1 to infinity b n into sine of n pi x upon L so what I will do here so here the value of L is 2 if you compare here the value of L is out here 2 so therefore our Fourier sine half range sine series will become n from 1 to infinity b n into sine of n pi x upon 2 I will give equation number 1 for this I will give equation number 1 where the value of b n is that is Fourier coefficient the value of b n is 2 upon L, L value is 2, so therefore 2 upon 2, integration 0 to L, L value is 2, so 0 to 2, f of x into sine of n pi x upon L, L value is 2 means n pi x upon 2 into dx, so we know that the function f of x is nothing but the given function, the given function is uh, f of x is x, so we need to replace here, so therefore, so b n is equal to 2 to cancels. So integration 0 to 2, the value of f of x is x sine of n pi x upon 2 as it is. Now, we need to uh, simplify this integral. So integral means we need to apply by Bernoulli's. So using or by Bernoulli's rule. So what is Bernoulli's rule? This is u and this is v. So we'll keep u as it is. That is b n is equal to, I'll put a bracket. So x as it is. So integration of sine is what here? Minus cos of n pi x upon 2 whole divided by n pi upon 2. This is uh, first integral of v then differentiation of x formula minus differentiation of x is 1 so minus 1 upon n pi upon 2 I will carry so n, 1 upon n pi upon 2 minus as it is 1 upon n pi 2 is nothing but I can write it 2 upon n pi and again integration of cos n pi x upon 2 is nothing but sine of n pi x upon 2 whole divided by n pi upon 2 next differentiation of 1 is 0 so we'll stop the integral integrating and uh, we'll close with 0 to 2 we'll close it what here the in limit 0 to 2 now we'll simplify and we'll apply so before simplifying i want to show you so x will be replaced by 2 in this entire so first cos uh, will apply it but in terms of sign so if you replace x by 2 so this uh, n pi x whole divided by 2 is there so if x is replaced by 2 2 2 cancels sin n pi sin n pi is what here 0 as per the standard formula and x will be replaced by 0 means sin 0 is 0 so therefore I can say directly on applying upper and lower limit for the second term it will vanish as only the first term will remain so what is that first term we will collect it first so b n is equal to minus sin and this n pi upon 2 what we have it is constant we will take it out so it will become 2 upon n pi completely outside so minus also I have taken x into cos of 
n pi x upon 2 limit from what here 0 to 2 so this uh, n pi upon 2 already had taken outside so on applying what here upper and lower limit what happens we'll see now so bn is equal to minus 2 upon n pi apply upper limit x by 2 so 2 into cos of n pi x will be replaced by 2 upon 2 upper limit minus lower limit x will be replaced by uh, 0 so 0 into this entire thing is what here 0 so therefore on final simplification minus 2 upon n pi so this 2 2 cancels so what left inside here 2 times cos of n pi or I can say that minus 2 upon n pi so 2 times cos n pi is nothing but minus 1 raised to n so therefore finally b n is equal to this minus 2 2 2s of 4 and minus minus i will write it as just see here so 2 2s of 4 and this minus sign i will write minus 1 and this minus 1 raised to n we have already divided by n pi so this minus 1 i have taken from this so minus 1 raised to 1 and minus 1 raised to n can be written as 4 into minus 1 raised to n plus 1 whole divided by n pi so therefore b n value is 4 into minus 1 raised to n plus 1 divided by n pi is the required value of the Fourier coefficient b n so therefore therefore our uh, Fourier series of sign that is half range Fourier sign series will be uh, summation n from 1 to infinity b n value what we are 4 into minus 1 raised to n plus 1 divided by n pi into sine of n pi x upon 2 so this is a series okay so in the range what here they have given so so this is a series if you put n is equal to 1, 2, 3, so on, just uh, what happens, I will show you. So, f of x is equal to, if you put n is equal to 1, 2, 3, if you put n is equal to 1, so this uh, uh, 4 upon pi will be outside, okay. So, 4 upon pi will be outside, remaining n value will need to replace, 4 is out, pi is out, so minus 1 raised to, uh, if you put n is equal to 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, so minus 1 raised to 2 is nothing but plus 1 upon 1 because n is 1 plus if you put uh, uh, n is equal to 2 so minus 1 raised to uh, uh, 2 plus 1 is nothing but 3 so minus 1 raised to 3 3 is a odd number so we'll get minus sign here minus 1 upon uh, 2 uh, next sorry once again so f of x is equal to this 4 upon pi as it is so if you put uh, n is equal to 1 so minus 1 raised to 1 uh, 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 minus 1 raised to even number it will become 1 so 1 upon 1 1 upon 1 into we, we need to apply here also the value of uh, n is 1 means sine of pi x upon 2 sine of pi x upon 2 next is if you put n is equal to 2 so minus 1 raised to 2 plus 1 2 plus 1 is a odd number so it will be minus sign minus 1 upon 2 into if you apply the value of n is equal to 2 it will become 2 to cancel sine of pi x okay so or i can say that uh, 2 pi x upon 2 only 2 to later we can cancel if you require so next uh, is nothing but plus 1 upon 3 sine of 3 pi x upon 2 minus so on so this is i can say that one of the half range series if they ask the detection part